and waits until finally those clouds of gas and steam condense and rain upon that planet. Rain upon that planet Earth. And they rain and rain and rain. The deluge. together for more than a million years would only just begin to approach its results. For when it finally stopped, to serve as the engine that drives all the world's weather. Yet these phenomena occur in only the first few hundred feet of seas that average greater than two miles in depth. And it is there, in those depths, in an endless night, darker than the darkest night on land, that we are just now beginning to explore an amazing world. There, amid raging underwater storms and fiery underwater volcanoes, mountain ranges that dwarf the Himalayas and gorges four times deeper than the Grand Canyon, there, two miles deep in that darkness, an amazing world. mountain's warm core through immense cracks in its surface, and then rises back to the ocean floor as a superheated mineral-laden fluid emitting what to us would be lethal concentrations of poisonous chemicals. Yet, incredibly, around these strange vents, exotic life forms flourish. that have astonished biologists by finding the means for their survival, not in photosynthesis and the sun, but in the chemicals of the earth itself. Chemosynthesis, an ecosystem like none other on earth, until now scientifically inconceivable, yet there, nevertheless, deep beneath the sea, waiting our discovery. Waiting in a world where we've spent less time than on the surface of the moon. A world we've only just begun to explore with tools we've only just begun to imagine. Tools with which we'll go where no one has gone before. Searching these seas for the knowledge they conceal 
and the resources they hold. For answers to our past and keys to our future. What kind of future will it be? Try to imagine, just for a moment, a future of amazing technological creativity. A future of incredible adventure and discovery. of remarkable awareness and understanding. Try to imagine. Well, we welcome you now to take the first steps into that future. We welcome you to the living seas. We welcome you to Seabase Alpha. Please step all the way into the hydrolator as well as the others. Just running one of them. Huh? I believe so. Don't hold that one, people. Ladies and gentlemen, please choose hydrolator one, two, or three. Then, when the hydrolator doors have opened for people, take small children by hand as you hold the cards and pencils. Watch your step. Hydrolator number two it is now boarding. <laughs> no. Ladies and gentlemen, please choose hydrolator one, two, or three. Then, when the hydrolator doors have opened completely, take small children by the hand as you walk across the entry bridge. Watch your step as you board, and please move all the way into the hydrolator to allow room for yeah, others. If the gentleman with the crutches and his party would like to come over to hydrolator number one, uh, it'll save you some walking down below. Watch your step as you board, and please move all the way into the hydrolator to allow room for others. Ladies and gentlemen, please choose hydrolator one, two, or three. Then, when the hydrolator doors have opened completely, Take small children by the hand as you walk across the entry bridge. Watch your step as you board, and please move all the way into the hydrolator to allow room for others. Ladies and gentlemen, please choose hydrolator one, two, or three. Then, when the hydrolator doors have opened completely, take small children by the hand as you walk across the entry bridge. Watch your step as you board, and please move all the way into the hydrolator to allow room for others. Ladies and gentlemen, please choose hydrolator one, two, or three. Then, when the hydrolator doors have opened completely, take small children by the hand as you walk across the entry bridge. Watch your step as you board, and please move all the way into the hydrolator to allow room for others. Ladies and gentlemen, please choose hydrolator one, two, or three. Then, when the hydrolator doors have opened completely, take small children by the hand as you walk across the entry bridge. Watch your step as you board, and please move all the way into the hydrolator to allow room for others. Ladies and gentlemen, please choose hydrolator one, two, or three. Then, when the hydrolator doors have opened completely, Take small children by the hand as you walk across the entry bridge. Watch your step as you board, and please move all the way into the hydrolator to allow room for others. Ladies and gentlemen, please choose hydrolator one, two, or three. Then, when the hydrolator doors have opened completely, take small children by the hand as you walk across the entry bridge. Watch your step as you board, and please move all the way into the hydrolator to allow room for others. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please choose hydrolator one, two, or three. Then, when the hydrolator doors have opened completely, take small children by the hand as you walk across the entry bridge. Watch your step as you board, and please move all the way into the hydrolator to allow room for others. Ladies and gentlemen, please choose hydrolator one, two, or three. Then, the hydrolator
where your belongings and step out to your right. The vehicle and the moving platform are traveling at equal speed.
research. You're using this for us. Then call the cell and get the